Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the week of August 31st to September 6th. The cart rollout process is still taking place and right now we're at one of the staging areas where carts are being prepped to be switched out in preparation for the new garbage and recycling program. The consortium made up of Bloomington's six licensed haulers decided to begin exchanging container carts during the week of August 8th. The cart exchange will continue through the end of September. During this eight week process, haulers will exchange all types of carts with the same or similar cart sizes. Some residents will have a new hauler and a new cart. Haulers are now also collecting garbage and recycling in their newly assigned zones. Until you receive new carts, roll out your garbage recycling and yard waste carts on your regular trash day, even if the carts are empty, until the end of September. Have your carts out before 7 in the morning on your regular garbage day and leave them out until the end of the business day, at least until 6 p.m. Some haulers are noticing residents are taking carts back to their house before they can be swapped. I think once we get through some of these hurdles with the cart swap out, people get used to seeing the utility bill with the recycling and trash on it. Uh, everybody will notice right away starting in October, even actually before October, there will be less trucks on their streets. So uh, there will be an immediate impact to everybody of, of how good this program is going to be. For more information on the service and a look at a sample utility bill, which will soon have your new haulers information, head to blm.mn slash garbage. You can also see who your new hauler is by viewing the new collection zone map found at blm.mn slash garbage dash map. If you have questions about the program itself, please call 952-563-8760 or email maintenance at bloomingtonmn.gov. If you have questions about billing for the new program, please call 952-563-8726 or email utilitybilling at bloomingtonmn.gov. The City Council has been working on a strategic plan that will guide the decision-making process for Bloomington's future. The plan has six priorities, community amenities, community image, environmental sustainability, focused renewal, high quality service delivery, and inclusion and equity. City Manager Jamie Verbrugge said laying out these priorities will help the council make decisions that support their larger vision for the city moving forward. They want to be really focused on the future and making sure that Bloomington continues to be the kind of community that people want to live in uh, and to make sure that it is a thriving and vibrant community uh, going forward. So they're focused on those things that will uh, affect the quality of life, uh, that will make our neighborhoods stronger. Uh, and that will allow us to provide uh, a continuing level of excellence in city services. The City Council will vote to approve the plan at an upcoming meeting. A two decade long achievement continues here in the Finance Department. Staff received another award for their budget book. The City received the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award from the Government Finance Officers Association for the 2016 budget book. It's the 21st year staff was honored with this prestigious award. It's the highest form of recognition in governmental budgeting. In order to get this award, the Finance Department had to meet national guidelines for a policy document, financial plan, operations guide, and communications device. The budget book is available on the city's website, bloomingtonmn.gov. Finally, in mid-September, business leaders and city officials will gather for a special event at Civic Plaza. Business Day at City Hall allows chamber members and city staff to connect and interact. City Manager Jamie Verbrugge will present the results of the city's business survey, explain the comprehensive plan called Forward 2040, and introduce new city leaders on staff. There will be other speakers and events as well, meant to start conversations about the business climate in Bloomington and its future. This is what Normandale Community College's president had to say about the event last year. I think the event is great. I think any opportunity for us as a college community can engage with our civic community, our business community, because in order for us to move our organizations forward, we've got to work together. So I think this, this event is great, and it does exactly that. 
Business Day at City Hall is made possible thanks to a partnership between the Bloomington Chamber of Commerce and the City of Bloomington. That is the buzz on Bloomington today for the week of August 31st to September 6th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find a story on the Japanese students who visited City Hall. It was all thanks to the Bloomington Sister City organization. There's also a piece explaining why this garden is surrounded by parking lots in South Loop. Check those out and thanks for watching.